This thing is towing this trailer with complete ease. I was honestly worried that I messed up my weight somehow and there wasn't enough weight on the trailer because this thing is towing like an absolute dream. What is going on today guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are with our F-150 with the 3.5 liter EcoBoost, part of a little mini series here. Um, last week we talked all about the engine, what I liked, all the good stuff about it. Today we are taking this thing and we're putting a trailer behind it. As you guys can probably see, we got 8,500 pounds thereabouts behind this 3.5 liter EcoBoost. And I'm excited to get this thing on the road, on the highway and see what this towing experience is all about. So for starters, you guys are probably saying, well, this EcoBoost can tow 14,000 pounds. Why aren't you towing 14,000 pounds? And well, there's two answers to that. The truck in front of this trailer is actually only rated for 11,200 pounds. So that's number one. Number two is I wanna make sure these towing tests are consistent across every single 1500. And some of the 1500s and some of the engines can't tow as much. So 8,500 pounds is actually at the max towing capacity of some of the engines I'm going to be testing. So uh, yeah, that's why we got 8,500 pounds back here. All right, so let's measure our total height while we're unloaded here. I'm gonna call that 40 and a quarter for our height there. Our loaded measurement, 38 and a quarter. So this thing dropped about two inches. Um, not the worst. I think this truck's actually nice and leveled out. We will see what our tongue weight is once we hit the scale because we will be weighing this truck and trailer to see exactly how much, well, how much our trailer weighs and then how much tongue weight we have. Enough chit chat and let's get this thing on the road, down the highway. We got about a 200 kilometer loop and uh, we got lots of fun little hills and we'll see what this thing is all about. Okay, so right away, just kind of bombing around the neighborhood here. Um, she feels pretty good actually. She feels pretty good. Still feel like there's plenty of power if needed. Feels like the suspension has taken the load pretty decently. Um, but there's only one way to find out when we get to highway speeds, how this thing really feels and reacts. So we are just about to hit the highway here, the old Trans Canada, as you guys probably know. Um, we will try and get right to 60 and then I will put my, f and then I will put my foot through the floor and uh, we'll see how this thing accelerates. So there's 60, 61, 3, 2, 1, go. That was pretty quick. Pretty quick, actually. All right, we are 11 kilometers into our towing loop here in First impressions, I was a little bit concerned about how a 1500 would handle this. It's pretty beefy trailer, the pinto hook, the whole nine yards. And uh, so far this F-150 is killing it. Um, very comfortable, I feel super in control. The trailer's not pushing the truck. It's, uh, it's working out really well so far. The other thing is this engine is smooth and has tons of power wow so yeah first impressions really good i kind of understand why people are raving about how this thing tows because um so far i've been kind of impressed we are 30 kilometers into the trek here and um yeah still very impressed i mean i always love what ford does they show you what gear you're in at all times which i i really like that now we have the 10 speed transmission um, in this ecoboost and that came into play in 2017 so any truck 2017 older will have a 10 speed transmission with this engine and that was a 10 speed that was co-designed or co-engineered with chevy actually um, so that's kind of cool, Ford and Chevy working together. So in terms of gear ratios, uh, seventh gear is one to one. So right now we're sitting in a one to one gear ratio because we are going uphill a little bit here. And uh, you know, it's again, gas engine. We are really not even revving that high. We're just under 2,500 RPM. But with those turbos, the turbos just spool up, give you that power you need without having to drop another gear or even go into like 4,000 RPM territory to maintain speed. So 
yeah, it's it, it's cool to see this engine working. I, I'll, I'll say that for sure. And I guess that brings us to another point is the torque band. The torque band on this engine is very broad, very flat, which is surprising um, given that it's a turbocharged engine. Obviously we have 500 pound feet of torque coming out of this power plant here, but you can get 90% of that peak torque at 1700 RPM. To be able to get that much torque at 1700 RPM out of a V6 twin turbocharged gasoline engine is really impressive to me. I don't know what voodoo the, uh, the Ford engineers have done to this engine, but uh, personally, I would have expected the torque band to be much higher up in the RPMs because, well, it's a turbocharged engine. Normally, turbocharged engines gain their power higher in the RPM band when the turbos have a chance to spool up. So pretty impressive stuff, and uh, we'll have to see how that low end torque affects the rest of the tow yeah. here. This engine makes towing really, really easy. I'll, I'll give it that for sure. It's quiet, there's not that much drama. In fact, it is a lot like the diesel engines I reviewed in the past weeks. Just drama free, gets to work, does the work without really, you know, making a big deal of it. So that, it, yeah, cool to see, very cool to see. Just another beautiful day here in New Brunswick and the locals say driving anywhere is driving uphill because it's just full of hills and valleys no matter what direction you go. Now, speaking of going up a hill and putting engines under load, gearing. Gearing is another thing that is pretty important in these F-150s if you wanna get that max 14,000 pound towing capacity. So on this truck I have right here, we have the 331 gearing. However, you can option these trucks with two other options. You can put the 355 gears in here, or if you wanna get that max 14,000 pound towing capacity, you have to put the 373 gears in this truck. And if you guys are unsure what gearing you have, I love this by Ford. They put the axles tag right here on the driver's side sticker, so you'll know right away. This one has the axle code of 27, meaning obviously 331 gears and a limited slip in the back. Now, one thing that is not so comforting, unlike the rest of the towing experience, is the fuel economy. We are 67 kilometers in, and that is 24.3 liters per 100 kilometers. That is quite a bit of fuel being burned out of a 3.5 liter v6 so we'll keep an eye on that obviously we're not done the run yet um we are going up river now and on the way back we'll go down river so you never know but um that is something that has caught my eye now okay so we are going up a slope again we're in six gear which is an underdrive gear so we're, we're one gear below one to one um you know like 3200 rpm just nothing to it nothing to it no need to downshift in fact we rarely are in sixth gear unless we're going up a pretty uh pretty steep hill which we were there for a sec and the other thing i'm noticing it must be when you're in tow haul mode this transmission will not go into 10th gear which is a very deep underdrive gear so here's another good example of the beauties of having turbos in your engine is like so we're in ninth gear here which is the highest gear it's going to let us go in on tow haul mode and we take a little bit of a hill here a little bit of a slope and the turbos just spool up you stay in ninth gear it is completely drama free it makes towing so easy and we only have 331 gears we don't even have the top set gears and the engine just spools up turbos push more air into the engine and power is transferred to the wheels without having to downshift. So it's uh, it's pretty cool, I'll say that. All right, we are at our halfway point at the old Irving stop here. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with the way this thing is pulling. Um, maybe you guys can see like the truck is sitting basically level. We may be a little bit lower on the back, which is fine. Um, we do have a fair bit amount of weight here. And uh, the trailer, it is also basically sitting level. There's a little bit of a nosedive, which I'm okay with. I think that's actually a little bit healthy. Um, but yeah, overall, I think I got a pretty good setup here. It feels super comfortable on the road. Um, so yeah, we are going to weigh this truck and trailer on the CAT certified scales over there. 
Awesome, thank you. Yeah, so we got about um, 8,400 pounds worth of trailer weight. Now we also found out our tongue weight and that was just under a thousand pounds. And I mean, that's pretty impressive because this truck only squatted, I think it was two, two and a half inches right in that neighborhood. Thought it would squat quite a bit more with that much weight, but apparently not. Maybe those leaf springs are a good thing to have. So the main thing I wanted to get to before we go on our second uh, half of the loop here, this thing is towing this trailer with complete ease. I was honestly worried that I messed up my weight somehow and there wasn't enough weight on the trailer because this thing is towing like an absolute dream. Um, the truck is stable, it's solid, there's tons of power. I'm not even joking you guys, I was kind of falling asleep on the way here, daydreaming a little bit because it was just so easy to drive this trailer, truck and trailer. Um, so now that we actually have our, 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 our weight, um, you know, we're, we're kind of right in the ballpark where we thought a little bit lighter, maybe a hundred pounds lighter. Um, but still, I mean, 8,400 pounds is, is not light with a 1,500 and this truck makes it feel like there's literally a, maybe a 2,000 pound trailer behind it. It's, it's kind of impressive. Moral of the story, very impressive. And I just wanted to wait until I knew what my weights were and then I could, you know, kind of go on a spiel there saying how impressed I was with this F-150. All right, so we are pulling back onto the highway. We will do our speed test once again. We'll get up to 60 kilometers an hour. And drop the hammer. She's a spicy girl, I'll give her that. She's a spicy girl. She gets up to speed real nice, there's no doubt about it. Plenty of power, plenty of power. Now, I guess to kind of follow up what I was saying in the parking lot there, um, I almost had a inclination that this engine would kind of be the benchmark for towing in the 1500 categories, just because of what I've heard and, um, you know, the turbo setup and all, the, all that fun stuff. And, so far, it seems like that is probably going to be the case. It seems like this engine is just going to, you know, mop the floor with this course, um, with the weight behind it. It is kind of nice that this is the first 1500 engine we are towing with, and it probably will be the benchmark. Um, not to say that, you know, other engines like the 5.7 Hemi, um, maybe even the 6.2 in the Chevys is going to be a underpowered engine. They're probably going to do this just fine, but I think this engine will be the um, the benchmark in terms of speed, capability, ease of tow, and, and, and that kind of stuff. Where I think this engine may fall short, and <laughs> in fact, I, I think it most likely and most definitely will fall short, is the fuel economy. Um, because this thing is sucking her back, sucking her back strong. We're gonna see how this engine works going up a pretty good hill here. All right, from the bottom, here we go. Let's see if we can keep 110 kilometers an hour. I have absolutely no doubt that we will, but you never know. All right, we're in eighth gear, still in overdrive gear. Okay, sixth gear, that is an underdrive gear. Um, 3,100 RPM, 110 kilometers an hour. I have a feeling we're just gonna sit right in this gear and just spool those turbos up and not need to downshift again. <laughs> not bad, not bad. This thing just, <laughs> no sweat at any turn on this course. Um, I haven't seen this truck go above like 3,300 RPM without me physically putting my foot through the, uh, the firewall when I accelerate onto the highway. <laughs> she just, yeah, it's, wow. It's kind of impressive actually. I mean, 8,500 pounds behind a 1,500 is is a fair amount of weight and this thing just treats it like it's uh it's nothing nothing special 
business as usual and just keeps on trucking. I wish I had a more intense hill to show you guys, but I don't. That's That was the big hill right there, and this thing just mopped the floor with it. Um, <laughs> it's impressive. It is impressive. I'm not going to lie. Usually I'm a traditional V8 guy, but I gotta, gotta say, this is, this is intriguing. Well, it is approaching the end of our loop here. We've driven almost 170 kilometers. Our fuel mileage um, has gone up a little bit. We are at 22.7 liters per 100 kilometers. So we've gained a little bit, but still that is actually kind of bad. Overall, I am actually really happy with this engine as you guys can probably imagine. Um, I'm also happy with the truck itself. I kind of talked about a couple times how I was a little nervous with such a big kind of beefy trailer behind an F-150 and this thing is rock solid. I mean, there's hardly any sway. The steering is super predictable. It's it's steady, it's strong, and you know, I would I would feel comfortable putting more weight behind this, which I don't think I was prepared to say at the beginning of the video. So um, there's something to be said about that. These F-150s are no joke and I am really excited to get other 1500s uh, in front of that trailer because I'm curious to see if it's an industry standard or if the Ford F-150 is just um, that good of a truck. All right, we finished with 22.5 liters per 100 kilometers. Thoroughly impressed truck and engine. Um, I mean, this trailer probably is not meant to be towed by a 1500 um, and uh, this thing just rocked her down the highway so as we always do we'll drop the trailer unload her and then i'll give you my conclusion on this truck in terms of its towing ability and i'm sure you guys can imagine what i'm gonna say how did this truck do my conclusion well um first things first as you guys can see uh, it's bug season here in new brunswick and uh, we got a whole plethora of dead uh, insects on the front here <laughs> um but uh, no this uh this truck thoroughly impressed me. The engine and the truck. I mean, I, like I said, I was truly second guessing myself, thinking I like screwed up the weight somehow because it just felt too light. And um, I didn't want to say anything until I got to the scale and confirmed that I did have the right amount of weight, except for one thing. Um, I forgot to take myself off the, um, the payload of the truck here. Um, so my tongue weight was much closer to 800 pounds, not a thousand, meaning our total trailer was closer to about 8,200 pounds. So we weren't quite at the 8,500 that I thought we were. We are a little bit lighter, but still. I mean, 8,200 pounds is still no joke for a 1,500, and this thing just rocked it right down the highway. No sweat, no drama. It was actually really impressive. I really do think this is the benchmark when it comes to 1,500 towing capabilities. Um, it would be interesting to see uh, the twin turbo um, hurricane engine when it comes out. That will be very interesting, as well as the Toyota Tundra twin turbocharged engine. That would be very interesting as well. But overall, if you're looking to tow with this 3.5 liter EcoBoost, it is a wonderful towing engine and uh, I was really, really impressed and I'm sure you guys will be as well. As always, I hope you guys liked the video. That is part two of our little mini series here. Part three, the last series, we are going on the dark side. We're gonna get into the nitty gritty in terms of issues, problems, um, and things I don't like about this 3.5 liter EcoBoost. Um, so that should be fun. That will be next week. But if you did like the video, or if you're liking the videos so far, don't forget to leave that thumbs up. And if you like cool stuff like this, don't forget to subscribe because uh, we'd love to have everyone on board. Anyways. Um, enough of me. Look forward to my top five issues with this EcoBoost next week.